MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Today, spring training action from the Cactus League between the Cincinnati Reds and the Kansas City Royals. And here's Jose Peraza. And we are ready for some daytime baseball. Leading off the afternoon for Check Cincinnati. the swing there and pops Second this one up. Basement, number 37. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-1. And boy, was he ever fooled on that pitch. It's 0-2 now. Ball swung on and hit high down the line in left. Hey, but it'll go. get back in among the crowd. So the count holds it 0-2. Right, Tries the slider to ring him up, but he lays off one and two. Dribbled up the line. That winds up foul. Well, I think he's trying to get that two-strike fastball out of the zone. Just caught too much of the plate right there. Fortunately, he fouled it off instead of putting it in the seats. And a fastball swung on and missed, and the leadoff man is gone to open up the ball game. One thing to know is not all strikeouts are created equal. Right there, he goes down on strikes, but he really made that guy on the mound exactly. work for it. And when you're doing that in the first inning, it can have an effect on how deep he's going to be able to go into this start. There's a big difference between that and going down on three or four pitches. And a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. In is Joey Votto now. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Number 19. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. Pitch to the plate is a slider for a strike, and it's all knotted up at one and one. Oh, that's a good-looking curveball to hit right there. That ball's coming right into you. So maybe he's measuring him and looking for another one this pitch. On the ground to the right side, and that is through into right field for a single. So a great job on a one and two pitch to keep the inning alive. Hey, sometimes you got to just get lucky. He got out in front, hooked it, and it just found a hole. Devin Mesoraco is in with two away now as he looks Devin at a called strike Mesoraco. one. Line towards center field, and that'll get down for a base hit. Well, this middle of this lineup is dangerous. You know, he gets two quick outs, and then here comes the three hitter and the four hitter with back to back hits. And now the five hitter, he's going to have to pitch him a little careful. He thought he was cruising, now he's in a little trouble. Great chance to drive in a run here in the early going. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. Now oh, he lifts a oh, high oh. pop up, drifting into foul territory on the right side. I go, I go. And he'll get under it to put it away in foul territory, and that ends the inning. So a couple of hits here in the top half, but nothing comes of it. The Royals will get their chance now. Stepping into the box, Brian Vick. He'll start things out here in a tie ball game. They set the target in, and this finds the inside corner for strike one. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Another strikeout for him on the mound, and boy, is it fun to watch him go about his business. Ah, no doubt, Matty. He's one of my favorites, mostly because of his stuff. You know, he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just nasty. There aren't many hitters that like to see this guy on the mound. Liner toward right center, and that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. At the plate, Patrick Kivlahan. First Got shot eight. for him here with a right runner at first one. now and Patrick one away. Kivlahan. And there's his strike right down the heart of the plate, 0 and 1. Swing and a miss here, and he's behind in the count now, 0 and 2. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. So striding in, Darwin Barney. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first Darwin and two away. Barney. 0 and 1, here it comes. Pitch is a cold strike, the throw. And he is out at second. Caught stealing to end the. So stepping in, Darwin Barney. And he'll start out there half of the third, top of the order to follow. Darwin Barney. Hit in the air to left field. Revere is under it. And that's the first out of the inning. Digging in to try it again. Jose now Peraza. Danny. 0 for 1 Second for him here one. in this one. Jose Sends that Peraza. one out of play for strike one. On, 
late decision to swing that time, and as a result, it's 0-2. Well, I think his eyes lit up when he saw that pitch coming up at his eye level. Oh, you think? If you've got a good fastball like he does, that location can be really effective. It looks so tempting to the hitter, but making yeah, contact on right that now. pitch now can batting. be very tough. Into the box, Marcus, Marcus. Simeon looking Simeon. to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. Fastball, and he's quickly in the hole, 0-2. Can't quite get the low outside corner there. Yeah, it's yeah, one and two. two. Bases are empty here with two men out. Swing and a liner. That gets down, and the inning continues. So with two out here, that extends the inning for Joey Votto. He just scorched that ball off the wall, and now the question will be, should he have continued on or not? He thought about pushing it, I'm sure, but decided to play it safe. The it would have been close, but I think this time he's probably right in staying at first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Nobody the catcher here, nobody. Devin Mezzarocco stands in. He'll try to get it going here to begin the fourth. Devin first pitch fastball Mezzarocco. swung on and missed 0-1. Called strike 0-2. And the knuckle curve freezes him as he becomes out number one. And that brings up Scott Shebler. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Way late on the fastball for strike one. Good hard slider there, but it runs away. It's a ball and a strike. From the windup, the 1-1 one -one pitch. And this is going to be a foul ball. Oh, man, I think he thought he's going to get another breaking ball right there. He's a little bit late on that fastball. That's a nice pitch, though, following that breaking pitch to keep him off balance with the heater. Swing and a miss. Looked like the knuckle curved there, and that's out number two. Boy, he's got great stuff today, doesn't he? That's seven punch outs now here in the middle innings. He's up over one in the inning up to this point. Well, first It'll be interesting to see no if this lineup can change their plan of attack better. and start to put Brian. the ball in play. But yeah. right now, that's just not happening. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. One, two, three, go the Reds. They can't chip into that five nothing deficit. Here's Eris Mendy Alcantara. He'll try and Leading do what he can to work toward cutting Center into field. this big oh, deficit. Right. And the first pitch of the Alcantara. inning here misses down and in for a ball. It's one and oh. Now a fastball for a called strike. It's one and one. Just a bit jumpy that time. Swung on and missed. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. And he struck him out. Good pitch there as he registers his eighth punch out of the ball game. Now batting. Patrick Kivlahan is at the plate now, and he's quickly behind 0 and 1. And a ball popped foul to the right side out of play. And he rings up another one. Make it nine strikeouts for him in the game. Striding in once again, Darwin Barney comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Kane is underneath this one, and he will put it away to retire the side. Danny Duffy takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Hey, one of the keys to having a good record in baseball is to win some games at home. So this was a big win to win at home in front of their home crowd. Eight to one is the final score this afternoon.
Your number 41 please. is on, Outfit and he'll take over Royal. on the mound in relief. Now he gets on Leading top of one here and chops it foul right at home Second plate. Baseman. Robinson. Oh, and two He's now up. as Cano comes up empty on that one. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Way straight. outside. One and two. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. Ready for another shot now. Brandon now Drury. He's 0 and for 2 thus hitter. far in this one. Brandon and that Drury. one right down Main Street. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0 and 2. Everybody knows he's got that fastball that gets up at 100 miles an hour. He just have to be ready to swing. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back to back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. Now batting. Ken Vogelback is at the plate as he takes a cold strike one. You know what? That ball's right down the middle. I think he was taking first pitch, just really trying to measure it. Matt, he's thrown two pitches right down the middle and got away with them. Got him looking, and that'll do it. The inning is over. Three up, three down, three strike. Your Brian Flynn please. gets the call now from the pen the to take over. Yeah, they needed him a little bit earlier in this one, but he takes the bound in the eighth and records the final four outs. You're at number 41 please. enters now from the bullpen the to do the pitching. Number 41. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Leading off for Milwaukee. Domingo like Santana is at the plate now and he takes Santana. a cold strike. Oh, that's for sure going to be a pitch he wants back. You're not going to get many balls right in the wheelhouse from a top-level arm like this. Well, that's back-to-back -back breaking balls. He's able to foul that one off. Will got they come back with it. a third? My, my. Under this one is Solaire, and he'll handle it for the first out. And that brings up the left-handed hitting Travis Bye -bye. Shaw. Over oh, two here to start Travis the afternoon. Shaw. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. This is swung on and lifted down the left field line, but it'll get back into the crowd as he jumps ahead of him now, 0-2. And this is swung on and missed, so it's two up, two down to start the sixth inning. First pitch now coming, buddy. here it is. Colby Rasmus Colby stands in Rasmus. as he looks at a called strike. Oh, that was a good looking slider to hit. It kind of hung in one. When you got a slider right there and it's spinning towards you, that's the one you, you annihilate. Oh, and he gripped that Help. one a bit too tightly as it broke down and just about got him. Oh, and Rasmus swings and lifts a high fly ball to deep right field. And that one is gone on a two-strike count with two away in the inning. Yeah, and as we take a look at it on replay, you can see this thing was gone from the second it left his back. A thunderous shot that dang near gave the pitcher a little whiplash. Challenged him with a fastball and lost big time. He's one for two in this one. And this is going to be a foul ball. Three runs, six hits, and no errors on the Milwaukee line score so far. And another foul ball. That's probably not what he wants to do with two strikes right there with the fastball. He is fortunate he just fouled it off. Well, that's three foul balls in a row. He's definitely battling up there. Waved yeah. at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one in the inning. Is your David Phelps play. is on to pitch now from the bullpen the now. It's always nice to give your fans at home something to cheer about, and they definitely did that right here.